Let's write a C program to print natural numbers from 1 to n using recursive function. So n is the user set limit to print the natural number. So why not just call it limit? Okay, limit is equal to 10. So here is the snippet of code that is recursive function. The recursive call is present inside the f block and the base condition to exit this repeated execution is present inside else block. Okay. So whenever return returns the control back to the calling function, which is display, it executes the lines of codes following it, which has only one line of code to print the value of num. So this function returns natural numbers from one to 10. Hope it's clear. If not, I'll explain you once again while writing the program. So for now, write this down, the value of limit, the recursive function call. So we have uh, written the same program using the iterative logic, using for loop as well as using while loop. So if you wish to uh, learn even that, please go and visit those links and watch the videos. In this video tutorial, we will be teaching you how to do the same that is printing the natural numbers using recursive function. So let's get started. I'll take a variable limit instead of n. So I'll ask the user to enter the number of terms to be printed. Natural numbers are the numbers, the terms. So I'll ask the limit from the user itself and store it inside the address of integer variable limit. And then pass this value entered by the user to a function called display, which we need to define. So that's it for main function. Let me define display method or function now display doesn't return anything so its return type must be void and let me copy the passed in value to another variable called num so the value of limit will be copied to the local variable of display which is num so if num that means if num is greater than zero okay i'll repeatedly call the same function this is recursive call okay i'll just pass num minus one we are reducing the value of num by one because at the end at some point the num value should be zero and this else blocks block code should get executed and the iteration should end so we are not returning any value here because we have void as return type to this display so return colon just means semicolon just means return the control to the calling function which is which will be display okay after that i'll simply output the value of num that's it look at the flow here from main we take the value of limit from the user and we pass the value entered by the user to a function called display wherein we check it doesn't have any return type so void is its return type so if it's positive, then recursively call the same method. If function is zero, execute the else block. This is base condition. It returns the control back to the calling function. Inside recursive call, we reduce the value of num by one for each iteration or for each time it calls itself. So let me print five natural numbers. So one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect, right? Hope you can see the output here. So let me print 10 natural numbers now. Now it's working for both the values. So our logic must be right. So let me show you how it how it's actually working. Usually people will have doubts with this printf statement. So I'll show you if user enters the num value as five. So it's positive. So if block code gets executed, so let me copy this block. So five minus one is four. So display, it's a recursive call. Now four here, it's passing four. So, so num is positive once again. So this code, this line of code gets, exe gets executed once again, substitute the value of num. So four plus four minus one is three. So the new value is three. So display of three is a recursive call once again. It executes the function. Three is positive. So again, this line of code gets executed. 
so 3 minus 1 is 2 again the same function gets executed this time num is 2 so again 2 is positive right so again this line of code gets executed these are the recursive calls which gets pushed on to the stack memory stack so 2 minus 1 is 1 again 1 is positive so so num is 1 1 is positive so the code inside if block gets executed which is a display of num minus 1 so let me substitute the value of 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so num the new num value is 0 now so display of 0 so num is not positive so else block gets executed now it doesn't return anything except the control okay it returns the control back to the calling function which is display of 0 what does it return nothing just the control so once it returns the control the control executes the code following it what's the code following this display there is one line of code to be executed which is print f and print the value of num okay observe here carefully what's the value of num here so how did we arrive at 0 1 minus 1 is 0 so num value is 1 so in that case display the num value so num value is obviously 1 here so print that out so the control passes to display of 1 which actually called this method so num value is 2 okay again control passes here so num value is 3 control passes from here to here so num value is 4 so the control passes from display of 3 to display of 4 the num value is 5 so 1 2 3 4 and 5 gets printed onto the console window so this is the logic we are writing here simple right very simple so please please practice this program don't take this for granted you will forget it why it's printing the value of num you will forget that so please write this down on a piece of paper and understand it before going any further with recursive programming recursive functions by in writing recursive functions okay so hope you understood this logic so let me run this program once again and print 25 terms of natural numbers and here we have it 1 to 25 natural numbers so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends using your whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you